Hello, I'm Sergey, and this is Rustcast episode number 12. Probably like you, I like to use Rust Playground. I visit it sometimes when I want to explore some specific Rust behavior. But I often miss my favorite development setup, which is by the way is Wim, and I find this run button a little bit slow for me. So I found myself quite frequently doing the following. I navigate to slash tmp, I create new project, something like cargo new fubar. I go into the project, now I open Mux. I split the window and uh, I run cargo watch x run that will monitor all the changes in the project and uh, spawn cargo run. And here I open main RS with my favorite NeoWim editor. And now once I save file, I can see the changes almost instantly. That's how I like it. But you see, it takes some effort to get to this point. So why not to automate this? This made me create a little helpful script that I want to share with you today. Before we get into the implementation details, I want to give you some quick demo of what the end result will look like. I just type playground and voila, I have it. In order to get started, we will also need some prerequisites. First, we'll need Cargo Watch. It can be installed with Cargo install Cargo Watch. We will also need a Wim or Neo Wim or maybe some other terminal based editor that you love. We will need MOOCs. And we will also require some basic programming skills in Bash. I assume you can install all of this by your own, so let's jump right into the bash scripting. So first let's think where we want to store the script. In my example I will create a bin directory within my home directory. And uh, another thing we have to do is to extend our path variable to point to this uh, bin directory. So you actually need to add this line to your bash rc file or whatever shell you use. So eventually when I print path variable I must see something like this. And uh, okay, let's get into the bin directory and create uh, our playground file. We want also be executable so we do change mod plus x to that file and let's now open it and we want to run it with our shell so let's just test it low uh, playground so at, at this point we expect when we run playground we should see this message hello playground Back and so far it works. Okay, now let's think a little bit. So when we create a Rust project, we probably want to find some place where we want to, let's say, keep it. For this, I will define a playgrounds directory variable. And usually I want my projects be in TMP folder because I I am not I don't care to keep them for a long time, just want to play and forget. For each individual project we have to 
view it unique name and for this i will just use a timestamp yeah that's uh how you would calculate timestamp uh, the standard unix tool called date and you can give it format something like um, i want to see here month uh, date hour minute second that's what i want to use to calculate the timestamp And now we can build a final destination for the project. So this should give us a unique directory name and we can test it just to see to ensure that it works as we expect see it differs with one second so whenever i run this script i want to create a new project within this project dir directory so i just do cargo new project dir and i want to get into the project so i just cd Project dear. Now the next step will be to start MOOCs and uh, create two paints for Cargo Watch and for Wim. There's gonna be a little bit of MOOCs magic here. So that's uh, I start new MOOC session and uh, that's a command I want to execute on start. I want to run NeoWim and open main.rs file. Then I want to split the window horizontally. And uh, in the new window or in, in the new pane, I want to run Cargo Watch. And I want to do it a little bit more uh, sophisticated. Instead of just X, I want to run a shell command and I want to clear the screen and then run Cargo with option white. And then again, I want to switch active pane to the left one, which is uh, near Wim editor. Okay, let's give it a try now. And seems to be working. That's good. Uh, I want to have. A little bit more than this uh, in particular there are some use cases when i actually want to experiment with uh, some grades and uh, i want these grades appear in carga.toml almost automatically for example like rent so the little improvement i'm going to add to this shell script so what I want to do, I want to iterate all over the arguments that are given to this playground command. So this uh, fancy variable dollar add means array of all given arguments, and we are iterating over them with the create variable. 
and I'm going to use a set command set space for stream editor. It's a standard Unix command. And I want to apply the changes to cargo.toml file. Now we have to specify the command. So what I want to do is I want to find uh, dependencies section and I want to add create name within this dependency section. So I say, hey, uh, find a place that match this regular expression. So find a place where this dependency section depend dependencies and then amend so a stays for amend i guess the following line uh, what is great equal double quotes asterisk so of course this great variable will be substitute with real uh, argument value that will be added to cargo toml and yeah let's give it a try uh, so i run playground and i specify rent so i want to uh, start playground with rent create already in place and i Open cargo toml. You see, I have rent dependency here already, and that means that probably I can do something with it. Can play. A few months ago I wrote an article called RAS Playground at your fingertips. So if you're lazy to type the script by yourself, you can just copy it from this blog post. The article was shared on Reddit and it even got some traction. Someone pushed it even further and created Cargo Playground tool that has some extra unique features. For example, it allows to specify names to your playgrounds or allows you to choose other editors than Wim. So if you are interested, definitely check this out. You'll find a link in the description to this video. At this point, thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.